election season is coming up, so it's a good time to talk about the Co-op's Vote Program. You may remember we started this program to encourage greater political engagement from rural America because we'd seen trends where the rural vote was declining from one election to the next. To date, Co-op's Vote has been a real success. We've seen increased voter participation of rural America, and we've seen increased political engagement within the electric cooperative community. And that means a lot. It means not just people voting. It means we get people getting to know the candidates, visiting co-ops, visiting co-op boards. By doing that, we make sure that our co-op issues and our co-op values are understood throughout the community. That really fits into the cooperative principle of concern for community. Co-op votes is a natural outgrowth of that principle. We've got an important day coming up. September 25th is National Voter Registration Day. And I encourage all of us to seek out co-op members and consumers, make sure they're registered to vote, and encourage them to go to the polls. Now, Co-op's Vote is a nonpartisan program. We don't tell people who to vote for. We just want them to be involved in our election process. You can go to our website, vote.coop, and get all kinds of ideas about how your co-op can participate in the Co-op's Vote program. And if you complete five of those activities, you get a special designation as a five-star co-op. I'm so happy with the way this program's rolled out over the last few years, and I encourage everyone to embrace the Co-op's Vote program as we go into the 2018 election cycle.